Design for climate is the first topic we're going to be talking about. Designing for the appropriate climate is required to ensure the occupants remain firmly comfortable with minimal, if any, auxiliary heating or cooling. Solar passive design is the main component of this, and it is important to work with the climate and not against it. Approximately 40% of household energy is used for heating and cooling to achieve thermal comfort, and it is our aim with this project to reduce this rate to as close to zero through smart design alone. Australia is split into eight climate zones, as defined by the Building Code of Australia. Each climate zone requires different methods and solutions to achieve a solar passive design home. So we can recognise this project is located in climate zone 5, warm temperate. Furthermore, NAFAS breaks these zones into a further 69 subzones, with ours being climate region 54. The main characteristics of a warm temperate climate zone in relation to our project is that it has a moderate day to night temperature range with four distinct seasons. Summer can be very hot with low to moderate humidity with mild winters also which can exceed human comfort range. Also the climate allows for a widely variable solar access and cooling breezes which with relatively simple design considerations we should be able to achieve an 8 to 10 star NAFAS rating for our project while maintaining our cost budget. Before we go ahead and design your home, we need to do what's called a site analysis. This is done for every project that we take on board and it is needed to identify the conditions called for a specific design adjustment so we can achieve a sustainable outcome. This is also done with a contour and feature survey. This shows the lay of the land and any specific features that we may need to include within your design. In doing this, we've realised that passive solar heating and cooling will always play a big part in achieving a higher star rating. Certain approaches are required in the local area to maximise the effectiveness of our reliable afternoon sea breeze known as the Fremantle Doctor. Also, to reduce the heat gain, we need to avoid inappropriate and overuse of glazing, even on the northern facade. Where passive solar heating was achievable, we hope to maximise it in our uses. And where it is not achievable, we'd like to, in this case, look at using lightweight building frames to respond quicker to any auxiliary heating that may be required to our home. The use of lower thermal mass, such as lightweight construction, gives us the opportunity to allow for lower embodied energy solutions, which is always good for our environment. Our roof space will also be used as a thermal buffer zone by ventilating it in summer and sealing it off in winter. You can see a copy of our site analysis by going onto our website.